Uh, autism affects nearly a million people. But even though most of us have heard of the condition, we don't truly understand it, according to a new report out today. The study by the National Autistic Society suggests that nearly 90% of families say people stare at their autistic child's behaviour. And around 80% of autistic people say they feel judged as strange. Well, it might come as a surprise to you to know that actually more than one in 100 people are on the autistic spectrum. It means that effectively what they find is social situations very difficult. They struggle to filter out sound, smells, sights and information they experience. 19-year-old Alex Manners is from Solihull. He has Asperger's got an ambition to be a TV presenter. Not only a TV presenter, but actually to be a presenter on Top Gear. Here's his audition from last year. You won't find anyone who's funner, quirkier or more colourful than I am. My two cars are an orange Triumph Herald and a pink Triumph Herald. What's better than driving down the high street in a classic brightly coloured car and wearing a brightly coloured suit? Chris, I'll see you on the show soon. Excellent. Uh, he's uh, with us in the studio this morning, talking of brightly coloured. Um, uh, Alex, lovely to see you. And you. Yeah, okay. Lovely to meet you. Lots of orange going on there. Uh, an amazing set of trousers <laughs> yes. there. Uh, this is personal choice. Yes, it is. Yeah. I've always been bright and colourful. OK. And the, the, the glasses you got on, orange frames there? Orange frames. Yeah. Well, I, to be honest, I actually wanted a pair of pink ones, but Did you? I couldn't find the pair that was right, okay. so I chose orange instead. I, 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 well, all I'll say is, mate, you look very colour coordinated. We'll put the pictures on our BBC uh, College to our, our your Facebook page. You look brilliant. Well, thank you. You've got Asperger's, Alex. What's your attitude towards that condition? Well, I've had it since I was um, 10, and I just feel it's something that I should look on as a positive as opposed to a negative. It's something that, although it's had its drawbacks, it's definitely... Um, pushed me forward in terms of my personality and how I act in, in, in life. It's made me a lot more confident, I think. It's made me, um, in terms of my clothing, it's made me sort of want to pursue a career in something that I'm passionate on. And I always look at it as something that I, I'm, I'm glad to have. It's, it's not a problem or a condition. It's uh, a benefit. It's a positive. You, you don't have any problem uh, expressing yourself. That's quite obvious in the way you've just phrased yourself in that answer. You certainly don't have any problem expressing yourself in terms of fashion and, and clothing in there. So what sort of reaction do you get from uh, from people uh, w when you when you dress and you choose the, uh, the fashion the way you do? Do, do people respond to you uh, maybe sometimes a bit oddly? Um, not Not oddly. I mean, a lot of people, most people respond very positively towards how I dress. Good. And they're really excited by it. Um, and when I was at secondary school, I got a lot of people calling me Rainbow Man. Okay, right. <laughs> and that started me off sort of, um, my, my um, I've got a, I'm creating a new children's show called Rainbow Man. Right. Which all stems from being called Rainbow Man. And I'm just looking at a YouTube channel now, actually. You've got a great show reel on there and... Uh, uh, and there's, you've got lots of lots of footage on there. How's, how's, how's this actually translated, though, for example, at school? I mean, do you conform to school uniform? When I was in secondary school, I had a real issue with school uniform because if I'm wearing bright and colourful clothes, I can conquer anything. I'm happy in doing any any certain subject or task. But if I'm, in, if I'm not in colourful clothes, I can feel quite down. So it was quite a struggle wearing school uniform. Not because it was smart, because I love wearing suits. Yeah. It was because it was dark, dark blues and greys. So that was quite a struggle. And when I entered sixth form, um, you were allowed to wear your own clothes and you had more time. And that just completely changed changed my life in terms of how I felt um, going into school. Um, so definitely wearing and expressing my personality. I felt when I was wearing school uniform, I was hiding my personality. But wearing my own clothes, I can bring my personality to the to the fore and really be myself. And in terms of your TV career, uh, obviously these showreels are fantastic. I mean, you've got genuine talent, I think, yeah, just looking uh, at the little bits I've seen Definitely. there. Uh, Trish, you were, you know, you do lots of TV productions. So what, ti what tip would you give... Alex, our boy here, in terms of pursuing a TV career. Well, to be honest, you know, you are halfway there. I mean, you've got, like Phil says, you've got a great show, you've got a brilliant personality, and that's not because you've got Asperger's. You've got a brilliant personality, uh, you know, in contrary to that. And I think, you know, you could really look to BBC Three and maybe, you know, find out the, you know, the head of production. What happens is 
if you look at a program that you like have a look at the end credits who's made that program and that's the person that you contact and you've done brilliant with the top gear did you hear back from top gear what happened with top gear um i didn't hear back from them directly but i got a lot of um uh, good feedback from newspapers so i was in the times and the birmingham mail okay and i was actually on bbc wm Okay, oh, our sister yes, station. Our sister station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. To talk about my Top Gear audition. And so, I mean, yeah. I'm looking at your YouTube footage, uh, you do do things very differently, don't you? You don't conform in terms of TV presentation. I watched your wacky guide to Stratford upon Avon, for example. It's certainly not uh, a traditional TV present presentation style. And 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 is that something you're very deliberate about? Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, for that one. I, I had to take. I was taking my video camera with me, and I thought, why not do something while I'm in Stratford that's different and quirky? And I thought, I'll do a, I'll do a, a guide to Stratford, but I won't just do it. Mm. Here's here's a pub. Here's um, the museum. I'll do it in my own unique way um, to make <laughs> myself stand out and to make it more did, did interesting you know, for did, listeners. Did, 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 he goes walk yeah. past shops, and he hasn't seen it, Trish, but he walks past shops and sort of you know points to the colourful chair Fantastic. in the shop. And goes, yeah, look at this, and then he goes to kind of a little circular area you know, and know, run around the circle. I've got know? it. By Jove, I've got it. Do you know who would love you, Alex? Who? If you went, to, if we could get you an, an American link hook, you know Americans, they love us quirky yeah. Brit. Hey, ex you ex Brit. eccentric <laughs> Brit. I think they would love you. And if I were you, I would be looking at you know, who, who, who's, who's in charge of entertainment at Fox and NBC and stuff, mm. because they would love your style and your individuality. And I, but I hope, we hope we don't lose you to the Yanks. We want no. you here. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm You're more of a career in radio, Alex. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I I'd, think I'd, you do great. Yeah, yes. I'd love to be in radio yeah. or television. Okay. Well, well, we will keep an eye on you. And I'm not just saying this. I'll give you my email address. I don't know. I will help you in whatever way. Well, we will help you yeah, in definitely. whatever way we can. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Alex. And just give people a mention of your YouTube channel. They've got to have a look as well yes. at all the, the, the films you made yourself there. And I recommend the Stratford upon Avon guy, by the way. <laughs> well, just give that a mention. Um, my YouTube name is The Alex Manners. And I do lots of videos on football grounds, football shirts. I've got my Top Gear audition. <sighs> TV presenter show reel and my like, but sorry. yeah, but let's just get real, Alex. When you make it, right, ten percent for me and Phil. You know, we, <laughs> we, you know, we, 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 remember, we like you. Remember, we gave but you we're ruthless. Break, yeah, we are ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be your agent. Best of luck, mate. Oh, Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you.